Welcome along guys. Well today is something a little bit different. We're doing an adventure bike versus enduro off-road. Dan, crazy new proof Dan, he's an experienced off-roader. He's on these multi-starter 1200. I'm on the Husqvarna 300 TE. Let's see how this goes. So as I mentioned, Dan is a very experienced off-roader. He's great off-road. I am a bit of a noob, but I'm on the more suitable bike. <laughs> so this will be quite interesting. Can an experienced person on a 1200 Multistrada with off-roady tyres on, I hasten to add, do anything or compete, or not compete, but how does he get on compared to me on a dedicated, amazing little enduro like this? Uh, well, this is what we're going to see, and it looks like the first lane is closed. Well, that's not the best start, is it? Bollocks. He's a brave boy. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want to take my 1200 Multistrada. It's the enduro version, to be fair to him. But this is going to push what that bike can do. On this, I can feel it shifting, moving everywhere. Oh, this is very loose, very muddy. We've had so much rain in the UK. It's unbelievable at the moment. Oh, shit. Oh. So every girl. <laughs> You crazy man! You're running out of turning circle. I pull you back a bit. Now, can I match it now? Oh, goggles! Oh, goggles! Well oh, done, sir. Ah, oh, try again. Woo! <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, it's not the ideal conditions for adventure bikes. Dan's a brave man. <laughs> brave or, or, or stupid. <laughs> One of the two, you decide. Oh, as he goes so fast. I think you have to on that, he's got to carry the momentum. Whoa! Rutty, rutty, rutty! Let's get the same side as Dan, because he knows what he's doing. Oh, my dickhead here. Morning! So I've been riding this 300T, it's about the fourth time I've been out on this. And it's quite a hard bike to ride, it's certainly not for beginners. But, yeah, looks good mate, give it a go. But, I'm getting used to it. I do like the idea of the less maintenance of a two-stroke. But this is, this is a big boy's bike. You need big kahunas to ride this. Not as big as Dan's. <laughs> taking that beast out down here but this is a powerful enduro machine probably you know, I wouldn't buy this bike if it, if, I, if, I, if it were mine it's too much for me but saying that you've got something you can grow with and get better with rather than being restricted later but <laughs> your tent on the back of your truck what an idea Oh yeah! That's what you get with a 300. And this is in the low power mode. Morning chaps! 
and it's using the viewfinder app to find the routes using the pre I think he's got the premium version of that to try and explore where we've got to find but this is always the problem with green owning it's finding the it's finding the lanes basically to go on normally there'd be some sort of signpost doesn't seem to be one here it's a byway byway yeah fully open it's all good so here is the bikes this is dan's 1200 multi-strike it's the enduro version at least isn't it enduro version with the golden is it golden what golden tire gt723 golden tire gt723s in case you didn't hear that <laughs> bless my jarvis they need to be in these conditions what year is it an 18 model. 18 model. How much does it weigh? Do you know? 250. About 250 kilos. I am on the 2020 Husqvarna TE300i, the little lightweight two strap. That weighs 105 kilos. 105, What's yours? One, 105. Yeah, 105. That's it. 105 on this bad girl. About 60 brake horsepower, are they? 55, something like that. Ish. About that, aren't they? And what's yours power wise? 140? 160? Have you got it in off road mode? Yeah. Have you? It's limited to 100. 100 brake? Yeah. And that's with traction off or traction on and all that? Or in, off, I guess the off road mode has a. Tr Everything is off. Everything's off. Uh, just the ABS, so one. Just the ABS. It is a beast. Shows what you can do if ridden properly. This is the beauty of the multi, it comes fitted with your own packed lunch. There's no packed lunch provisions on mine. Well, you eat dirt on that <laughs> You eat dirt, yeah. <laughs> what we got in here? Got winch and all sorts of there, haven't you? Coat, spare pair of gloves, oh cheers mate. Is that your winch? That's my winch. That's your winch. <laughs> Don't need my rope. Right, next little lane, and we've been joined by one of Dan's mates on an old LC4 KTM. The old 640, which is the bike I used to own, the Supermoto version. He's got the Enduro version. He's behind me at the moment. I'm sure he's not going to be behind me for long though, when he sees my skill levels. Like your style, Dan. Hit the puddles. Like your style. thing I do love about these two strokes and I have mentioned it in my my other videos is but the where these are oil injected it takes a lot of the pain out of having a two-stroke pit stop, pit stop. Yeah. Need another leak. what's happened I need another, leak. another leak bloody hell your bladder dad that's quite deep Whee! Yep, that's quite deep. The golden tyres. Getting down through that. You don't want to be stopping in there, do you? Look at this. This is fantastic range around here. I've never been up this way before. This is up towards Alton. This is a new one on me. Looks like we've got a man on a COF 250 rally. So Mr. Fish, apparently it's quite rutted. He said there's a lot of ruts. I think he said ruts, or it might have been rats, but I think it's probably ruts. This is where the, 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 the 200 can be, at the 300 even, can be a little bit lively on and off the throttle. If you've not got it in the right gear, there's a lot of power low down in the rev range. And it does make it a little bit tricky when you're trying to navigate this slow, muddy, technical, I say technical, but slow, muddy stuff. Whereas the four strokes, or the smaller two strokes, a little bit more forgiving. Hats off to Dan though. <laughs> He is one crazy mofo, taking his year-old 
multi-strada out down this but fair play i mean that is an adventure bike he's taking it on a proper adventure how many of those bikes will just sit in the garage and never even see a dirt lane not alone a muddy slippery rutted lane dan will tell you his bike is for riding it's not a garage queen as you might have gathered well done sir <laughs> so much instant power with this bloody beautiful gay dog boarding kennels interesting let's make sure we're allowed on it that's the important thing because if you go on stuff you're not allowed on potentially your bike could be seized by Dan's shrug of the shoulders there I'm, I'm sure that means this is fully uh, fully open that's the thing with the weight once it starts to go on the slippery stuff I'm following him for some reason <laughs> oh, <God. This> is <laughs> I'm all over the place on this <laughs> it's a bit lively Dan <laughs> If he stays on that, I'm going to be impressed. Whee! Yay, 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 yay! This is... This is... Uh, this is fun. This is great. Oh! Oh! F Whoopsie! Oh, the size of it, how can you go down here on that? Doing a grand job, Dan. Just wants that 250 kilos, plus Dan's lunch in the back. Once that starts to go, and Dan's only a, a relatively small chap. He's not a tall chap by any stretch of imagination. You don't get much of a chance to stop that weight once it starts to go on you. Steep momentum. <laughs> Dan's friend is momentum on that. You go too slow and you're just going to get stuck. Another wee. At the bus through. Clearing a path. Now, watch this. These lanes around here are fantastic. Literally gone for miles and miles, which in the UK is really quite unusual. I'm wheeling over the puddles a little bit. I'm not wheeling over that one. <laughs> you hit that one quite fast back right there, didn't you? <laughs> Afternoon. This is brilliant fun. What a way to spend a winter's day. <laughs> hey! Whoa. Hey! Oh, I love it. It is a little bit harder to ride at the slower stuff this 300, but isn't it fun when you hit the, the faster stuff? <laughs> we over that, thank you. Yeah. 
Well, there we go, guys. Well, I've only got the one battery with me, so I wasn't really expected to come out and do this today. The ca I put the camera on as a bit of an afterthought, but I should have known going out with Dan <laughs> is always entertaining. It's always worth bringing the camera. So in case the battery guy dies, I'll say goodbye now. Fantastic. Loving this point. Loving the whole enduro stuff during the winter. It's been such fun. Massive thanks for Dan for coming along and showing me some new lanes. These are great up here. This is up near Alton Way, so it's a little bit further north than what I normally stray. But it's another, there's a lot of, it's a big old network of lanes up here. So we're going to be up here again. But uh, thanks for watching, chaps. I think this conclusion of this video is, of course, the Enduro, even with a numpty on it, is the more sensible option. But Dan has done a fantastic job. <laughs> on that multi and just goes to show if you're not going to treat your your big adventure bike as a garage ornament it's a very capable bike in the right hands I would not want to take that off road <laughs> see you later guys this is power level one which is full power Absolutely bonkers. It's also pretty quick. Yeah, right. Never mind getting beat up. Give me this any day of the week. Oh. <laughs> oh,